Now to another hot-button topic. Opponents of what they call the amnesty provision in some immigration reform bills rallied today here in Washington. Chief political correspondent Carl Cameron is here to show us what happened. Good evening, Carl. Hi, Brad. Well, immigration reform is off to a pretty slow start in the House and isn't expected to actually come up for a vote until after lawmakers' month-long August recess. So, if anything is actually to pass this year, it'll have to be while Congress is also dealing with all the budget and fiscal crises at the end of the year. Not easy. A group called the Black American Leadership Alliance held a jobs rally today, urging the House to reject the Senate-passed immigration reform bill as a job killer for black American workers. Some very heated rhetoric. They invited the most vocal opponents in Congress to blast the Senate-passed bipartisan bill as an economic disaster. If this bill were to pass, wages would be, go down, unemployment would go up, and the gross domestic product per capita, as Mo noted, would be down for 25 years. It's a hammer blow to American families. Well, the charge that more Hispanics in the workplace might actually be bad for the economy overall drew a bipartisan rebuke from Chicago Democratic Mayor Rahm Emanuel and a sort of an oddball couple here, noted conservative Grover Nordquist of Americans for Tax Reform, best known for its No New Taxes pledge. Uh, and I think that, you know... It Immigration is what makes us the future, not Europe, not Japan, not China, and we do it better, smarter, and get back on track to where we've historically been. In the city of Chicago, which is true in any major city, about 50% of uh, all new business applications for licenses are by immigrants. And that's why I've always said you cannot be pro-small business and be anti-immigrant. Well, the clock is ticking and the odds are getting longer that the House is going to have a real difficult time passing immigration bill. First, they have to work out the differences. If they get it passed in the House, they have to work out the differences with the Senate. Then they have to get something to the president that can actually be signed. The crunch is because getting an agreement will be even tougher next year when lawmakers are going to be facing re-election in their 2014 campaigns. It's kind of a now or never situation and time running out, Brett. Okay, Carl, thank you.